Hey there, it's Andrea. And today I want to talk to you about how I'm no longer an empath. Uh, and this is available to you. I spent a long time feeling other people's stuff, right? Not knowing what was mine, not knowing what was other people's in the room, in the area. Sometimes it felt like the whole world. <laughs> it's it was intense. It was a deep, deep experience of a lot of pain, quite honestly. And last year, I can't exactly pinpoint the time, but what happened is I noticed as I worked on opening my heart, on raising my frequency, or we talk about raising vibration, raising frequency. It's also really just opening to the higher frequencies, right? Allowing things to drop away. Um, and then we just, right? Just like when you, you drop uh, weights off of a, a balloon, right? It rises. So as it releases, it rises. And that's a little bit more accurate experience of how I sense into raising our vibration um, or raising our frequency. So really we're just accessing the higher frequencies by releasing. So, but anyways, regarding being an empath, it was, it was pretty miserable, quite honestly. We took a, it's, it's interesting how there's a lot of pride in it on one hand, there's a lot of suffering in it uh, in a, on another. Um, at some point along the journey, we start to hold on to that label. We start to be like, I'm an empath. And I mean no disrespect to anyone in this process. I was there as well. Uh, what I'm here to do to, today is to share with you how we can step out of that into something much more expansive, much greater. What really came through recently, because I, I, you know, I had that experience, right, of, of it dropping away and noticing there were times when I would not give myself enough self-care or I would start to attach at different points to, to maybe people or experiences or storylines that suddenly I was feeling everybody's stuff again. And so this was a, a beautiful dance of noticing where the line was for myself. And I wanna talk about three things today, okay? One is empathy, one is indifference, and one is compassion. So compassion is the true state when we are able to come from our hearts and be just utterly spacious and we aren't indifferent to people's suffering. However, we do see through it. We can see very clearly. And so compassion is a state it's a space. It is space. There is beyond compassion too. There is the space beyond, which is simply the beautiful void of all infinite intelligence. Let's take a moment. Let's take a moment and just settle into our bodies and breathe for a moment. Okay. It's all right, let's just take a moment, two or three breaths, settling in. Notice what's yours. What is yours? What are you feeling in your body, in your energy body. What is somebody else's? 
Can you notice that? Can you feel the difference? Okay, so back to empathy. Empathy is um, when we are very often not really taking good care of ourselves. We are feeling consciously or not responsible for, for other people, for their pain, for their suffering. We hurt because they hurt, right? We take on the heart of sadness and we let it direct us. And it's okay. I want to let you know, it's okay to move beyond that. It's okay to lay down other people's woundedness, pain, suffering, stuckness, right? A lot of times people are in those spaces, just like being in an empathic state or an indifferent state. It's because we refuse on some level, we choose to stay in that level. It's an opportunity. There's nothing wrong or there's nothing wrong with staying in that state. I'm just here to tell you there is an opportunity to step out of it if you so choose. I'm going to do another video about kind of start to address some of the ways that we can do that. But sometimes we don't even know it's possible. So that's what this video is about right? So I've had times when I was simply indifferent, right? Indifference is pushing away, shutting the door, turning, you know, we talk about sticking our head in the sand, right? It looks different for different people. Indifference is, I can't deal with your shit, right? So doors closed, go away. We still might feel it, um, if we're like straddling the line between indifference and empathy, <laughs> deep indifference is often, I think, uh, this is coming just now as I speak, in true indifference is sometimes what we call narcissism. Um, but there's a, there's a lot to this conversation. So take what is right for you and leave the rest don't don't just focus on what comes up for you it may be triggering you it may be like screw you andrea that i uh, there's no way out of this this is who i am right and in those words right there this is who i am empathy is a vibrational state it is a lower it is a higher state certainly than indifference but compassion is a much higher frequency. Compassion is liberation to hold oneself open without carrying and attaching to other people's energies, storylines, issues. It is possible and it's a beautiful contemplation if you've not Right, We sometimes think that empathy is compassion, but in fact, empathy is, so a few months ago, I went for a bike ride. This is the best example I've ever had. And I'm going to, I'm going to try to, I'm going to see if I can draw it out here. Uh, where's the whiteboard? Okay. All right. So I went for a bike ride and on that bike ride, I happened to look down. And there were, I have a bicycle that has, I think like 24, 24 gears, three, three times eight. So on the lower gear, I guess, uh, lower rung of the gears, right? So this is indifference. This is, you work really hard. Yeah, you pedal really hard and you don't get very far, right? But it's tight, it's focused. You know what to do, okay? And then this, yes, my my beautiful circles here, my rungs. The the next rung, right? So you're shifting into the next higher rung is empathy. So we're paddling, 
we can, it's a nice place to ride for a lot of, of the levels uh, that you meet on a bike path. So empathy, it's a, it's more expansive, uh, but still it's not taking you as far as compassion and compassion is this, right? This bigger state compassion is you it's a it's a bigger gear space i guess <clears throat> excuse me let me uh get out of this now all right wait oops no there we are okay and oh no Okay. Oh, there it is. Close whiteboard. Okay. So anyways, think of gears, right? That little gear, you're churning on that little gear and um, you can control it. You don't go very far, very fast, but it's easy, right? It's easy to just be indifferent. The second rung, a little bigger, do a lot more with it, right? You can go further. You're open to a lot more. You can cover terrain faster. You, yeah, I mean, you can cover terrain a lot faster. You can do some hills that you couldn't do. Uh, you can go downhill fast too, right? And then you open up to that third gear and it takes some muscle, it takes some practice to be in that third realm of the, of the, eight gears but when you start to shift between these three potentials you'll notice it's not that much different right it's a very fine so you've got three big options and then eight little ones inside there okay staying with the gear reference and there's actually not much difference in how three and one feels versus two and one versus one and one. It's actually not much difference. So when you apply that to indifference, empathy, and compassion, just start to notice. Sit with yourself right now. Go into a state of indifference, okay? Just think of a situation or a person that you're just like, nope, not going there. If you don't have one at the at your fingertips, just imagine one, right? Like, nope, not going there. Notice in your body where you feel that. Nope, not going there. Notice how the body contracts, how the energy contracts, what that feels like. Now open it up a little bit wider into empathy. I, I don't really want to go there, but I feel your pain. Oh, but man, I am carrying it now. I'm affected by it. Hmm. Where do you feel that? Where does it show up in your body? And now imagine setting all of that down. You're perfectly fine. There's no judgment. There's no right. There's no wrong. You're laying that down and you are a wide open sky that witnesses these things and understands them to be temporary. Understands them to be a storyline, right? They're a cloud in the sky floating by. You can actually see through the clouds. You're like, oh, that felt really permanent, but it's not. It's not permanent at all. You watch it dissolve. What does it feel like to be that wide open sky, that wide open space?
can you have compassion and grace for the clouds? Can you just witness them? Can you still be both stable and zero point? It's a beautiful dance. It's a beautiful experiment. Play with it. See what happens. I'll be sharing more. I think uh, there's a lot actually that that I have to share about it breaking it down a little more so but this is for now thank you and be gentle with yourself right be gentle there's no judgment if that's where you are just know that you can um step out of it and not into indifference you can expand beyond it and it's liberating <laughs> and the greatest gift we can give to ourselves and to others because nobody's benefited by you being hampered. So anyways, I love you. Whether you know me or not, you know me. And uh, that's all I have to say for right now. So have a beautiful day. <laughs>